Now let's dive into conditional, sorry, not conditional formatting, uh, sorting and filtering. So we did conditional formatting earlier where we said everyone that is over the age of 25, highlight that data if they won a medal and they're over the age of 25. Now what I want to do is I want to see people that won medals in different sports. So what we're going to try and do is group the different group the sports together and then see which sports more people over the age of 25 won medals in. So to do that, we're going to first select all of the data in the F column. And so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's freeze the first row and select everything from F2 down to the last cell in our spreadsheet. So I'm doing that by holding shift, command, and hitting the down button. Uh, that's just using, a, that's on a Mac. You can do the same thing by hitting shift, control, and then the down button on your keypad. And now we're going to hit this button, the filter button. Or sorry, that's the sum button. We're going to group them. Yeah, filtering is next. <laughs> so sort the sheet. So sorting will allow us to group things together in this way. So what you can see is that the Nordic combined, short track, speed, swimming, and the like, you can say, you know, let's, uh, you can see, okay, so of the seven tennis medalists in our database, we have three people that were over the age of 25. And so this just gives you a nicer picture of like, looks like a lot of people who win medals in swimming are under the age of 25. Um, vast majority, it looks like. And so this just gives you kind of a, a gut feel and a quick glance that allows you to see, you know, what this data looks like. So that's interesting. So now we can see cross country skiing. It looks like a lot of cross country skiers are above the age of 25 when they medal. And so, what we've done is we've filtered the data. Uh, so you simply hit the arrow. So hover over the column, hit the arrow, short sort sheet A to Z. So you can see starting with A, you can also short sort the sheet Z to A, which we'll do it in reverse alphabetical order. And you can also see it sorts all of the data in that row. So unlike Excel, which doesn't automatically do this, Google Spreadsheets will auto sort all of the data in a row. So if I say sort this sheet A to Z, you'll see this data here change. Boom. Janica Kostelik, nice to meet you. And so now we can see, you know, how the, uh, how the system works. And so now that we have all of this filtered out, then we can do, or sorted, then we'll do more interesting stuff around applying filters, naming ranges, and doing filter views in the next video. So real quickly, we can do stuff like say, let's sort this by A to Z. Let's see what happens. So that gives us, that starts with zeros because zero is the lowest number. So what we actually want to do is Z to A and let's see who's won the most medals. And there's our boy, Michael Phelps. Um, I'm an American, so I'm a fan of him. Uh, sorry for those internationals. Hopefully you're a fan of Ol Einar Jordalin or not. So regardless, you can see here's the ranking of everyone who has won the most gold medals. And then you can get a sense of, you know, how many of these people that have won golds were under or over the age of 25. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this column of data, and then we're going to move on to our next lecture, which covers the filtering and naming of different views.